Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's um, video is going to be a bit of a beauty haul. No, one of the products isn't beauty related but I'll show you that because I got it in the same shopping trip anyway. Um, you'll have to excuse the lighting I'm on the camera on my phone because all my camera batteries on both cameras decided to die on me which was not good. So I still wanted to get this video done and uploaded for you guys anyway so I'll go right ahead with the video. The first product that I got was from Asda. Now I've got three products there. This was on Tuesday and today is Friday by the way. Um, I needed a moisturising mask treatment because under my eyes here had got really really dry um it's still a little bit dry but i just need to carry on with what i'm doing just make sure i stick to my skincare routine and all that but um i got this mask and it said it was new on it and i thought i haven't tried it so i don't really know what it's like but it's garnier so i thought i can't really go too far wrong with the brand today. Um, it's Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Mask um, and it says super hydrating, revitalising mask, intensely, intensely rehydrates skin, reduces the look of fine lines, revives radiance and it has pomegranate extract in, hydroclonic acid, plant serum and it's for dehydrated skin and it says to leave on for 15 minutes. I always leave back to myself with the packet then i always leave things like this on for a bit longer because if you can it's best and i always do things like this before um bed because it's not practical if you're going out if these leave your skin feeling quite damp and then you've then got to take the moisture off your face which really defeats the object of what you're doing in the first place so I always do it at night when I've took everything off all my makeup and everything just let it sit in and soak and then when I take it off it like I said it leaves your skin feeling damp still just leave all that moisture in overnight just to soak into your skin and that was really really good so I'll be repurchasing one of these each week unless I see one that takes you know that I like better than this so but this is my new mask I think for the seeable, foreseeable future um, the next things I got was some beauty products well of course they're beauty Chloe what am I on about this is a beauty haul um, I totally got blown away with it right so back to the video George do makeup and I wasn't aware of this um, so do clothing um, which I'm sure many of you know. They had an ultra sheer foundation, light reflecting and moisturising contains vitamin E foundation. And this is in the shade number one porcelain. Um, and I just got this because I'd been using this Barry M1 here in the matte finish and I knew it was going to run out. Um, and it has today so i was glad that i picked this up but i'm really fussy with my foundations i don't know why i've just always been fussy over my foundations and i just like ones that give good coverage um without looking sort of sorry it just says my battery is low on here now so i need to get this done um without like looking too caked on so i got this this was three pounds 98 or three pounds and then the same with this gel polish around three pounds and it just says bright pink number 12 so that was just a bit of a spontaneous purchase then next i went to pound world and i got these kind skin um two packs of 25 wipes the simple ones i love these because they're simple they do what they say they do a great job i use them at night to take off my makeup before i cleanse and tone i just take the majority of the makeup off and then i cleanse and tone and moisturize and all that lovely stuff um and do i can do a skincare routine video if you'd like just let me know um but i also use these in the morning as well to just wipe off my face before I get out of bed just because obviously overnight your skin's just sitting there just to refresh it and give it a bit of a clean before I do my skincare routine again that morning and apply makeup um, and I use these if I put makeup on my skin just to wipe off and also 
you know, because they're natural. If the kids pick up one of these in a hurry, I don't mind them using it. I prefer them to use baby wipes, but sometimes some of the stuff in baby wipes aren't that good neither. Um, so if they're in a hurry and they've got something, I'd rather them use this because they're more natural than, you know, using something that has got those chemicals on and is going to be harmful to them. So they were £3, they weren't a pound, but that's still a good price for that. And then everything else was a pound from there, by the way. I bought this fresh, natural 48-hour Nivea protection roll-on because I was needing, um, well, I'd been using sprays and I'd found out that um, I'd heard, well, I'd heard before, but I hadn't really paid much attention that they could be bad for you. So um, I thought I'd switch to roll-on while I was in the pound store. I thought I'd pick one up and it's Nivea, so that's a good product. Brand. and then I got this chapstick in Apple now I didn't want Apple but it's the only one they had left but it had SPF 10 in so I thought that would be great I do love things with SPF in because even if it's not summer you can still put SPF on you can never be too careful with your skin so then I got a powder which says it's got vitamin E and sunscreen in for sheer control and that's in number two sweet touch um and then i got uh this blush in cupcake color number one and it's got vitamin e and it's just that pink color and then i got this matte top coat which has now got foundation on from the bottle. Um, that was a pound. A blush top coat, which was a pound. And then I got this Miss Beauty Pale Pink um, Nail Polish in number 375 Candy Floss Colour. It does say to put two to three coats on, but I think it's because it's a light colour. I do love my pink nail polishes. Um, I got this Illuminating Wand in colour pink shimmer um, and then I was disappointed with this one I thought it was a eyeliner but it says eyebrow pencil on it in black now I don't use black on my eyebrows but um, I'm thinking it's just a handed pencil so I'd be able to use it as a eye pencil god the light keeps moving around here and doing funny things and like I said because I'm on my phone and it's on the little phone tripod this is not going very well but we'll carry on this is the last product anyway i needed another nice pen and this was a pen it's a mother day's mother's day range sorry and it had a free key, or it came with the key ring as well so that was a pen so i thought i'd pick that up just drop it so that is all the products in my video so like i said this one was the only one that weren't beauty related um i hope you liked this video if you did hit the like button and hit subscribe and turn the notifications on um and if you want to see a skincare or you've got any ideas for future suggestions of videos let me know in the description box below and i look forward to seeing you in the next video goodbye guys